Sagittarius Singles 2022. Here we go. Sagittarius 2022 Singles. Sagittarius Singles here. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Ooh, okay. All right, give me a minute. Okay, so where you feel like you haven't had movement in love, um, okay, so there's an element of needing to move in, kind of like bring in, okay, so if you are dominantly in feminine energy, then uh, it doesn't matter if you're male or female, but if you are dominantly in your, moving in your feminine energy, then you want to shift that and also bring in uh, the masculine energy. Okay. If you were in the masculine energy, you want to bring in that feminine energy. Okay. So it's like the feminine energy. Here's high priest. So the high priestess is the one who receives the information from that pure source and then moves it into this physical reality. So, uh, so there may be that, right? Um, and if you feel like you haven't had any uh, peace, here is that promise. The peace is coming in. Okay. So. Also flexibility, right? How am I moving my mind? Okay. So that's a big one there. How am I moving my mind? Because how we think and, and where the dominant focus is, is how we bring in our reality. Okay. Okay. So to move into this positive fortune, what we want to do is bring in all the elements, right? Okay, so, right, air, fire, water, earth, ethers, okay. So we bring in the dream work and then bring it into the physical reality, right? Okay, so spring is looking real prosperous here, okay. All right, so Okay, so I feel like what's wonderful is that you will attract someone who is highly in tune with self. So that could be a water sign. Okay. Okay, could be earth. But I, I don't know why I'm getting, I feel like uh, another fire sign might be a nice match for you. Okay. All right, for someone. Okay. So let's pull this. Priestess of perfect pairing makes the match. Oh my goodness. Okay, so the first four months, there's that potential now to meet your person. Okay, now to the future, now. Uh, we could receive it now. Okay, so let's read that book here, 37. Okay, you can pray too, right? Okay, affirmative prayer. 
I see the true nature of all beings and bring them their perfect match so that the journey of love may be experienced. Okay, so this is a Kuan Yin. Okay, so you could just say source, okay, if, if you don't uh, believe in Kuan Yin. Okay. All right, so those, okay. I see the nature of all beings and bring to them their perfect match so that the journey of love may be experienced. Okay, so in the Aries single reading, there was this big message about focusing and Im using your imagination to bring in the physical reality. Okay, love. Okay, so doing that and letting your dominant focus be on positive relationships. Okay. So if you're a poet and you've been writing a lot of uh, breakup things and stuff like that, then what you want to do is, um, let's say you spend an hour on that, you want to spend the rest of the day focusing and imagining your dream world or actually uh, taking that a step further in the physical reality, right? And we can do that now. We don't have to wait till January, March, April. <laughs> we can do receive it now. Okay. Those currently in, in your life and those just now entering your world are there by my design, right? Ask for me to show you the purpose behind the pairing and you shall learn to trust in my wisdom and compassion. You are now blessed with my loving grace in all matters of relationship and connection. Surrender any issue within relationships to me, and I shall intervene to create the perfect pairing. Woo! Yes. Okay, so, the one within who loves me without condition, bless all my relationships, past, present, and future. Bring me your grace, mercy, insight, and courage that I may honor, love, let go, open up, and take the journey of love this lifetime. Help me to act with wisdom and trust in the greater unfolding process of divine love. I thank you for your blessings and perfect pairings for the greatest good. So be it. Okay. Wow. That's beautiful. Okay, so we had Chariot, High Priest, Wheel of Fortune, and Empress, and Priestess of Perfect Pairing makes the match. Okay, so you've met your match here. Okay. Got the Emperor. Okay, woo! Divine Counterpart. Okay, so that means you were able to, to be that unconditional love uh, and for yourself too, and therefore it manifests here. Okay. Man, that's beautiful. Okay. That's a match. I feel like we could stop there. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. So the magician. Okay. So now if the magician is coming in, this is very important. How you move your energy. Okay. This could be you. Choose. It doesn't matter. Okay. How you move your energy is how this magician energy moves. Okay. So that's very key. Are we positive? Are we neutral? Are we uh, negative? Are we positive? Okay. So it's like being aware of you, of what you're saying and doing, being aligned with your body, mind, and spirit. Okay. How are we moving the fire, right? Okay. And then the world. Okay, so it's like a new un union here, coming into this new world of connection. Okay. Okay, so for some of you, there's a Virgo and Pisces energy is showing up. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if that's family or friend or a lover. But whatever it is, if it's uh, anything other than positive, you want to uh, work that at least to neutral. That came up in the Aries reading too. Okay. 
some of you are famous and uh, there was that dynamic of difference somewhere in the light in the, uh, in the public eye and somewhere like the uh, Mary energy as this hermit here somewhere the Mary energy supporting this star okay so I don't know which is which but so there was that energy that you had to work out with this past person for some of you to bring it together to come to this point, emperor and empress, okay? All right, so it looks like you're able to work that out, okay, and uh, support each other. I feel like this is your person. What's interesting is I feel like this hermit energy is like Pisces or watery energy, right? It's like a gentle support. But uh, again, this is coming up. It's more internal energy, so it might be more feminine energy. And I feel like you were the more outwardly person and you didn't understand why this person was taking so long to open up. Okay, for some of you. Okay, but that is different now because here is the new reality, magician and world. Okay, so your positivity depends on how this turns out here. Because here we have you in your energy, right? Um, tempering your waters to bring in a beautiful, okay, purple irises, <laughs> the violet ray. <laughs> Okay, so um, for some of you, this is your water sign uh, was pulling in some of that uh, Scorpio energy. So wanting to work on, oh, interesting. Okay, so you wanted family for some of you. And your water sign person was holding it in, not telling you that they want a family with you one day. But it was like something about timing was kind of getting funking things up too. Okay. All right. But that's different now. In 2022, your, your dominant focus is on positive things, not the negative things. So therefore, your result is the sun. It's a rebirth of this past relationship. Or this can be a totally new relationship. Okay. So there's that. Okay, the sun. Look, and two kids. And this water sign wasn't telling you that, but uh, I feel like you were, some of you were getting impatient. Okay, because they were showing me a flower impatience. <laughs> but here, as you see, it's sunflowers. <laughs> okay. All right, so we've got the sun. Okay, so let's see real quick. Okay, so we've got Leo and Taurus here. Okay, so it's like... All right, so there's two factors here that in 2022 that will bring you big success. Okay, so some of you need your ego for this uh, to face the world, right? To show um, the light that you are. Okay, so it's like, but when you bring it home, what you want to do is kind of um, be you. But not so, uh, perhaps, my way or the highway. More flexible. Healthy ego. Taking, uh, revisiting your ego and your self-esteem. And uh, really shoring up that energy. Okay. And trying, being open to trying new things in love. Okay, so the other thing is, if this Taurus energy is showing up, um, what could potentially be uh, is uh, okay. So the Pastorian energy, some of them, it was like if. If the foundation or the stability, it felt like the stability wasn't there, 
then they bolted. Okay. All right. So, um, there's that. So, um, figuring out with your ego, um, what things it, that uh, you, if you have any triggers, you want to work towards non-triggers, right? Okay. So there's that if you have any. Okay. So. You want to bring in the positive aspects of Leo and Taurus. Okay. Okay, so then there's there's uh, Scorpio and Aquarius energy. That Uranus energy too. So, all right. So the key is finding that nice balance between reaching for the new and your old way of being. Okay. So kind of shoring up your own energy, being open to constructive criticism when it comes to work for some of you. Okay, so how can you accept constructive criticism? Okay, you don't have to do it, right? You don't have to, uh, there could be suggestions, but you don't have to go with it. Okay, but sometimes if you're not really listening or opening up to that um, variation, then you, there is that potential of missing out, I feel like, uh, in any kind of creative collaboration. So it's like being more open to it and not equating your self-worth, your self-esteem to whatever that collaboration work is. Okay, so then that way you can avoid extreme fire in the future. And then you can stay. And luck will be on your side, Jupiter. I leave you with that. 2022, looking beautiful. We've got the sun and the star and Jupiter here. Okay, so this is what seeds are you planting in your mind, right? What is your imagination doing? Okay, is it positive? Because Jupiter brings in what you plant, okay, in thoughts, words, and action. And I leave you with that.